Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Sultan Sanctuary. I did a tad of grinding off screen. Not really that much. I mean, it probably looks like a bit, but. I've just been sitting here in the menu listening to things because I, uh. I should go buy something to waste this cash. I'll hold on to these pearls, actually. Um, I have not beaten any bosses off screen because that's that's illegal. You shouldn't do that. You know, maybe this is unfair of me, but a map would go down real smooth right about now. I need to remember what this what this all is because I haven't played this game in a little bit. Uh. All the episodes that I recorded before... Well, all the episodes that I recorded that went up right around Christmas, because I think this is going up on the 30th. All of those were naturally recorded before Christmas. Wow. This game is awesome with headphones. Uh, so, then Christmas all happened, and uh, I've let this run a bit late, so it has to go up very, very shortly. Um... I think I might have mentioned this already, but I was just sitting in the menu listening to the soundtrack of the, like, just the music that plays while you're in the sanctuary. While I was, uh... Just, like, doing stuff. I was doing setup stuff. It is a really, really good soundtrack. Oh, do they fill your poison gauge back up? That's kind of interesting. Most uh, Dark Souls enemies don't. It's been like two minutes, almost three. Sure, gets a lost patch of earth. Shame. Oh yeah, this area. All right. Yeah, basically all that I really know, like, off the top of my head, is that I need, uh, to get left to get back to the first sanctuary. And the reason that I'm doing this like this is because I didn't want to, like, do stuff off screen that might be important. And specifically speaking, I'm gonna go buy a whole bunch of salt, probably. Okay, I'm starting to remember now. The tired old nooks and crannies in my brain are waking back up. I know it's like heresy to say that Dark Souls game should have a map. Oh. My rust prevented me from getting the cool guy kill. That's alright. Anyway, yeah, this is a game that really feels like you should have a, a map, you know? And Metroidvania without a map is bananas. Like, even Hollow Knight has a map. And Hollow Knight loves Dark Souls. Oh god. For those with curiosity about my credentials, I myself have not beaten Hollow Knight, but my wife did. I helped her though, because uh, it was really hard. She's pretty solid at video games, but, you know, Hollow Knight's hard. We've actually been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, we played like the first hour of Yakuza 0. And by we, I mean she and I watched. Uh, at 
and like, you know, it's good. It's real good. Okay. Oh, I can buy this too from you. I might as well get some of these. Just to, you know, burn through my inventory. You sell, you sell prey ours. What about you? Right. Soldier's poem. I I should stay away from that just this second because I'm not wearing that this very second. Amethyst bodice skirt and hood. Interesting. But I can upgrade this, right? Anyway, our intense playthrough of Yakuza 7 is why we are not currently, or why I haven't recorded in a little bit, part of it. I'm also on winter break, so, you know, go to hell, I'm on winter break. It's my time, my time is now. All right, this is coming up, because I want this to be up. I thought that there was a guy who sold salt. Oh, there is. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. Uh, you'll have to pardon me, because this is my video. But I also have a new controller, so I have John's about that. Let me... See, look at that. My wife got it for me for Christmas. Uh, because I prefer playing some PC games with a controller. You know, to some people, these games were built to have a controller. Um, that's a, you know, contentious opinion and thing to talk about, but... How much do any of these have? Oh, okay, this one has the smallest amount, right? Really? Is there anything I can go kill real quick? Oh, right. I don't know what's over here. That's, uh, annoying. The way that the wood groans is so atmospheric when it's in my ear holes. There's a guy that I can kill. Actually, I just re really, re wow, what the hell? I just realized that I'm not in the right area. I need to get back to Sunken Keep. No, I think I did Sunken Keep. Later. Remind myself what was in here. On the road again. I remember that I need to go right and up for this. Ooh, is that a thing that I've missed? Voracious charm. The 
Hail Charm increases attack reach. This, I love that. Oh god. I love things that upgrade your ability to survive. Health leeching is good. What the hell? Crystal Sphere. Well, that's unusual, maybe annoying. Got chariot tackled off the side of a bridge. Just remembering where the hell I am. Okay, this place was a thing. Man, I shouldn't have uh, backed out. I'm, uh, I'll just pause the recording. Alright. I'm back to here, wherever this is. I just remember that going up and going right is the way to do this. Sorry, can I? Okay, yeah. Castle Storms. No relation to the Shrine of Storms. Alright, cool. I remember where I am now. I'm in a super needlessly hard area. I mean, it's probably not nice. Man, for those of you who are going to play this game on your own, absolutely wear headphones. This is... There's a lot of really interesting sound design. Here and there, you get default punch WMV or whatever. Yep. Sorry, sir. I'll be on my way. But, like, sounds that there are no, like, easy stock example for. Like, they sound really, really good. They sound real good. Guess I'm uh, waiting on a double jump. Look, I'm sorry, but your game is better with a double jump in it. I don't know what to tell you. Nice. It's clean. So yeah, I was, um, I was, I had interest in getting a, a, a Xbox controller just because Xbox controllers are pretty damn solid. Oh, I can't level at this one. That's annoying. Guess it'll be motivation. And after I went out of the way to use all those salt things. Whatever, it's fine. If it's really a problem, actually, I'll go use this off screen. All right, you know what? I decided against it. It'll just be more motivation for me to fight the boss. Besides, there's, there's an important thing to remember in any, truly most games in general, but like, with Souls games, the fans are voracious ratfuck meatheads. So you know that any Souls gamer can beat anything, because here's the thing. Eventually, someone will beat something, you know? People are gonna fight the final boss at level zero with, with their fist. That's just what they'll do. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. People are, are just gonna do it, you know? I don't watch him anymore, but like Lobos was just very well known for doing that sort of stupid dumb shit. 
I'm just like, hey, you know what I'm going to do this week? I'm just going to spend all week just fighting the final boss, the Bloodborne DLC, without a weapon. Apparently, it's not even that bad. Because uh, you can get um, special backstab stuff faster with a fist. Basically, in Bloodborne, you need to charge a backstab in order to get it off. Oops. Bad start. Right away, huh? That's okay. Well, whoops. Really, uh, making me show my ass here. That's okay. Anyone will tell you that Let's Players don't need to be good at video games. I've considered um, turning off my mic and, and cam and just doing a bunch of tries on this boss without talking. It's so silly that they put the, uh, the little salt mar marker on it, you know? Like, hey, return to this location and slay your killer to gain your no salt. Just silly, you know? By nothing. The maximum HP reduction is punishing, I've got to say. That's really what's killing me, I think. Just the fact that, like, I'm not allowed to have my whole bar. It's an interesting game mechanic for sure, but, like, there's a lot of interesting game mechanics that disintegrate uh, against bosses, you know? Like, Metal Gear Solid 3 has a bunch of interesting things going on with its health system. Similarly with, um, maximum health reduction. And having to patch yourself up, like, for real. You play a little minigame after you get shot or stabbed or whatever. To sew your wound or to tape it shut or something like that. Oh god. This try is good. I don't know if I'll do it this time. Oh boy. But in Metal Gear Solid 3, you have to like physically Oh, I'm out physically take bullets out of your... Oh. <laughs> Alright. Physically take bullets out of your body whenever you get shot. Uh, which is a cool, interesting mechanic, I'm sure. However, uh, it's really annoying on boss fights because you're stopping the fight every, like, 30 or so seconds to dig another bullet out of your stomach. Like, yes, it's interesting. But against bosses, it's not necessarily the, like, coolest thing, and it's why it doesn't exactly return in other games. Because, you know, Metal Gear is a very good story but it is somewhat predicated on its bosses. I would say that most people care more about a Metal Gear Solid boss than the rest of the game. And it helps that the bosses are very, very good. Hmm. Oh, hey. <laughs> and she says the same to me. And it's the same thing, you know? Against a boss, uh, the maximum HP reduction is kind of annoying. Hello. Why am I just sitting here? The best thief in the Eight Kingdoms. 
What can a thief do against a dragon? A dagger against worm scale? Oh yeah, I killed a dragon. That's cool. What does Goff say? He's like, it's knighthood's greatest calling. Drag a dagger against worm scale? No. So I just sit here. You've slain the dragon. If you've done that, maybe someone like me can slay mighty monsters as well. No, don't believe in yourself. That's bad. Take this brand. It'll hurt, but it's a, cr it's a tool crucial to a thief. <laughs> I squeeze my eyes shut. I'm like, owie. Shadow flip. What the hell could that mean? What does it mean, though? Is it in here? Oh, here we go. <sighs> Can I get a hell yes? We've got a wall hike. That's better than a double jump in some cases. In some incredibly specific cases, it is better than a double jump. Wall hike is good. That's really good. I like that. So now I just need to figure out where to use it. But let's get to a proper sanctuary instead. I might be able to go through that one area that's next to that guy. Uh, the super hard guy off in the corner of the of a room. It's kind of a shame that I lost out on my, like, 7,000 or whatever, how, how much it was, salt. I'm like, I know I got it back, but I- whoops, that was the wrong button. New controller Johns, guys, don't mind me. Midship's been stirred. Have I gotten that before? Salt? I don't know, what about you? I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh god. All right. I'm not gonna use my items. I'm just gonna go back and lick some guys and get my, my juice. And now I've got a bunch of pearls to cash in on. I also learned an, a valuable and important lesson. I'm not as good as I think I am, and I really should spend the, spend the juice. All right, I've got five. Where am I putting it? Hmm. Could try scoring into the poultice pouch. Fortified strength. Where was I putting my points? Is it over here? It was. Well, that makes it simple. Pistols, huh? You don't say. I think that might be as far as I'll push it over here just for now. Cause like I don't really need decks, you know? Alright. Feeling good. That's my wife. She's awake, which is good. I uh, woke up a little before her so I could record without bothering her. Or taking her time. Go! 
Ugh. John's dead. Hey, isn't there a sanctuary over there? It's probably fine. I've got to say, I feel like a lot of the reason that they didn't include uh, controllers with second sticks for a while is because they had no idea what to do with them without, um, without you know, having a third, like a 3D game. And it's why, you know, you had to buy a special DualShock that had enough sticks back in the day. Big climb. I love climbs as a uh, substitute for climates. That's so funny to me. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. All right. Let's figure out where we're heading to. You? No, this is the sanctuary. That's all right. I should sit. Yeah, I've got eight rolls. I've got to say, maybe this is just because of um, the way that I'm playing, but there's a lot in this game that encourages backtracking. Like, hey, you know, backtrack so you don't to spend your money, so you don't, uh, you know, waste it. Backtrack to spend your salt, because you can't level up at every bonfire. You know, backtrack because you can't... Oh, God. I'll just go, guys. Pardon me. I don't know. Maybe I don't uh, agree with that as much. Lord's Orders and Split Mask. Oh, that's it, huh? Well, maybe there's more that I can go through here. That's the thing about video games like this. Like, sometimes you get this, like, amazing, super cool ability. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wow, the game is blown wide open. Like, uh... I'm trying to think of Like the Super Dash in any game. I'm thinking specifically of the one in Hollow Knight. Spoilers from Hollow Knight. But, like, the ability to just go like that is like... You've blown the game wide, the game wide open. It's like, wow, I can, I can just move, you know? There's no limit to where I can go now. And then and then they have to construct the game in such a way that like well, that was a waste of my time. Uh, in such a way where movement like very very far and very fast but only horizontally actually isn't that good, you know? Cuz it only moves you horizontally. And so all they have to do is put like a little lip or a little notch and it ruins your movement, it ruins your little dash, you know? Split Swordsman's Ear. It's probably what you use to upgrade their sword. Oh yeah, we're getting that famous Salt and Sanctuary grungy ass uh, soundtrack here. You know, when I was a dumb child, and I'm a dumb man now, let's be clear here. When I was a dumb child, I, for whatever reason, thought that the term was sound a trap. I don't know why. I think it was just because I had never heard the word track before. I feel like I listened to more uh, music as a kid than I do now. Like, more like albums. All right. Oh man, do I have to go back to that area that I was banging my head against earlier? That would be embarrassing. Hey, guess what? I'm a ding dong, so let's try this again, huh? This is always cool. 
when you get the moment where you can, like, try everything again. So I was right to come over here, I just forgot to check this thing. Yeah, I was literally, like, I, I checked the wiki, uh, just because I was like, I don't have to go all the way back, do I? Hello, friend. Oh. Lock of hair. Oh, I can buy soldiers' poems here. I'll fill up. Actually, I'll grab five. Hateful jawbone. Eh, why not? I'm not gonna be able to spend this forever. Ah, oh, crap. You have other stuff, don't you? Okay. It's fine. Found a nice safe spot up here, I did. I see a lot of cuts. Might not see a lot of customers, but I can use the break. So we know the trinkets. Color and the shape. That's plus. Uh, you too, man. Okay, now where am I going? Oh, I, I pulled that lever. Of course. Ooh, new area. <laughs> oh, hey. He persists. Does he wish to know me? Yeah. While they scurry to and fro, I am. While they perish, while they cherish their petty desires, idols, and false lords, I am. They fight their trivial wars, live for dying mortal kings and scoundrels, I am. All priests of false gods kneel to me. All kings of empires, great and small, kneel to me. Life kneels to me. Death kneels to me. Uh, okay. And you're 14 and you think you're cool, but... Abandon everything and try egg. It's either a very silly message or something that I have not fathomed yet. A power I have not yet claimed. Red Hall of Cages. I think I stuck my head in here. Poison boat, shock stone, and a bag of salt. Cool. Pardon me, fellas. Oh, who are you? Oh, he's got a shrimpy arm. Oh, that's weird. Ooh, they're tougher than I like. Vile guard's ear. Man, I do not want to bumble into a boss fight. I don't trust this long corridor. Huh? Unless... It's a shortcut corridor. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I'm gonna top off, just because I don't have a lot of health to be getting on with. It's a waste of a roll, but I'm down to one, two-thirds of my health bar. Type 46 tower shield. What the hell are you? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Clay Phantom. Fascinating. Unusual. Ah, crap. I gotta get past that guy again, huh? And me without a sprint. That's what I get for charging so blindly into an area. That's kind of stupid. Not here. Oh, hey, I can do this. Go away. I don't know how to tell you this, but you are not wanted. Hope that was worth it. 
Scrimshaw cane. I think Scrimshaw is carvings made out of fish bones. Wonderful hole ahead. I beg your pardon, sir. Red Hall of Cages. Oh, wait, I was up here. Later, sucker. Ooh. I'm always willing to trust a, uh, a thing that requires uh, a special power that I... Oh boy. This is uh, weird. Look at us, we walk the ceiling. Steady on, our heads are reeling. Roof wall floor and an upside down door. Dun uh, dragons high and dungeons low. Find the voice that scares the crows. Deep black hell and the darkness there that dwells. Island full of wicked things, shattered lands and broken kings. Rule, ruler, brood, rule, ruler, rule, heed the wisdom of the fool. Okay. Uh, thank you. That stuff. Lightning storm. Fascinating. So that was right there. Okay. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see if I can't get uh, my goodies back. I can also go right. Okay, I don't trust that. <laughs> You'll have to pardon me. I don't trust that for a whole second. I peeked in, I saw a wide room, and I was like, mm-hmm, no. Not a chance. I think it was over here. Caged man's ear. I love the vibe of collecting ears. Alright. Gotta come over here. Oh, there we go. Makes it easy. Let's try killing one of these guys. They aren't bad. I feel like... Here's the thing about any RPG. But getting lost can be a good thing. Because if you're lost or you're stuck and you're just running around killing shit, you'll get stuff. You'll get levels. And like, granted, in a game like this, you can lose all that. Where am I putting these? I should find... I wonder if... There's probably a maximum amount of poultices that you can get, right? Hmm. I can swing through this. I take this and, like, I don't need, uh... I don't need wisdom. But it might be good. Poultice pouch. Yeah, I think that might be the quickest way. I'm gonna grab this. And then it's quick hop to the poultice pouch, nice. It's very interesting that you can just pocket a level. That's kind of cool. Um. Oh. Save the dragon, I wasn't even there to help. Sorry. Suppose I need a new quest. Very well, the ziggurat. Should I head to the dungeon below the castle? My heart wants whatever lies in the ziggurat, but before it lies that wretched thing. The Dome of the Forgotten, a hollow place wretched with the echoes of suffering and misery and pain and... Well. Hmm. Perhaps I should head through the dungeon. As foreboding as it seems, I know it's less terrible than the Cursed Dome. 
When you're scared and alone, remember that you are your own hero. You're right. Toothish shield. Like Teutonic Knight. Wow. Wow. This area is like beautiful. I thought it was just like all black in the background, but like it isn't. There's like rocks and stuff. Moon stairs here. I don't fully understand what you mean by that. Some miscellaneous Japanese armor. I assume it could be Chinese. Wouldn't want to show my biases here. Okay. Loud and clear. Gotcha. That was an interesting thing in Dark Souls 1, where you could not progress a certain area until you had an item. And those air. Uh huh. Done with Forgotten. File of Undersight. Oh, don't do this to me. That's horrible. That might be worse. That might be the worst mimic ever. Just a chest with teeth is bad enough. Yeah, a chest with teeth is bad enough, my man, but it's stretching it. That's a, that's enough, dude. That's too much. I can't. Oh. <laughs> like, weird skinny-legged Dark Souls mimics are creepy enough, but, like, that's a... Uh... What the hell? <laughs> what a cool design. It's so creepy. Ugh. Uh, but I think that should do it for this episode. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had a good time. Uh, I did. Uh, everyone have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.